Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on finding the inverse function of expressions in the form ax plus b over cx plus d. So we've got this function, 3x plus 1 over x minus 2, and we want to find the inverse function. Now we've explored what inverse functions were in the previous video, and I'm not going to repeat myself completely, but remember the inverse function does the opposite of a function. And let's just say we did, I don't know, f of 3. I almost put in 2 there, but that would have given a division by 0. 3 times 3 would be 9, plus 1 is 10, so it's 10 over, and then 3 minus 2 is 1, so we get 10. So f of 3 is 10. And that means the inverse function does the opposite. So if we made the input 10, it would get us back to the 3. So the original function gets us from 3 to the 10, and the inverse function gets us back from the 10 to the 3. And remember what the method was. Step 1 was to just replace f of x with y, just for convenience. So we're going to write y equals 3x plus 1 over x minus 2. And then step 2 was to make x the subject. And the reason we did this was because in our current function, we've got the output y in terms of the input x, and the inverse function, I said, does the opposite. So we want to get the input x in terms of the output y so that it goes in reverse. So to make x a subject, now we've dealt with expressions like this before when we've dealt with harder change in the subject stuff. But remember we multiply 3 by the x minus 2 first because we don't like fractions. And then let's just expand out that bracket. So xy minus 2y equals 3x plus 1. And then do you remember we have to get all the x terms on one side of the equation. So I'm going to get all the x terms on the left, so I'm going to minus 3x, so we're going to have xy minus 3x, and at the same time, I don't want this minus 2y here because it's not an x term, so I'm going to add 2y to both sides to move it to the other side. And now, because I've got all the x terms on one side, I can factorise out the x, so x brackets, well, x times what is xy? It's y, and x times what is minus 3x? It's minus 3. And because I factorise the x out, I've now only got one x in the equation, so I can divide by this y minus 3. And if this doesn't seem like a familiar method to you, please watch my video first on changing the subject where the subject appears multiple times and within a fraction. I've got a video dedicated to that. So I've now made x a subject. We've got this expression here. And remember, the final step is to replace the y's back with x and then just write f minus 1 of x is equal to, because functions are always in terms of x, generally. So that means our final answer, I've run out of space down here, so I'm going to write it down here. I'm just going to write f minus 1 of x is equal to, our inverse function is, and as per the instructions, I'm going to replace the y's with x. So 2x plus 1 over x minus 3. 2x plus 1 over x minus 3. And that's the final answer. That is the inverse expression.